Hi, this is Danny, and I am so glad that you're here. The name of the channel is You and Me Living Free, and I'm going to take you on a little adventure today to some place called Pictured Rocks National Shoreline. It's in Michigan. It's on Lake Superior, and I really love this place. So here's where I started out. This is kind of at the bottom. This shoreline is actually many, many miles, and you can get a vague idea on that map. And then I took more pictures of the map, breaking down each section so that I could reference it as I traveled along. So I went along the map, and right here at the main visitor center where I took these pictures is the first attraction that I am going to show you in just a second. It is called Munising Falls <laughs> and Hike. And I was going to look up the pronunciation of this town in uh, Michigan, but I did not. It's M-U-N-I-S-I-N-G, Munising. That's how I pronounced it. Anyway, this is one of the first falls. This is a great little trail, and it's just gorgeous. Just the greenery. It's a gorgeous little trail. It's not very long. You know I'm not in great shape, so I love getting some of these little trails in that have a this reward at the end of this waterfall. I love doing the little trails. It gives me a sense of accomplishment and I always get these great rewards. And of course we can hear the water because we're at a waterfall. Here we go, let's just listen to the water and watch this for a few seconds and I'll shut up. Who doesn't love a waterfall? Am I right? <laughs> so here's just another view of the same waterfall. At least I think we're gonna to get to the view of the waterfall. This is just showing you some of the rock formations around. And of course, they're just covered in gorgeousness. The rock formations and the greenery is really just what I'm showing here. And you know I've been working on my selfie game, so here's a little portrait. <laughs> and here's another one. I'm always amazed how different I can look at just a different angle of the camera or whatever. Some One can be really flattering and one can really not. And anyway, that's just kind of funny. Here's the walk back. Did you ever notice on sometimes on a trail where you're just walking out and back where you feel like you're on a different hike each one because... The view's just different. You're just looking at everything from a different perspective. So anyway, a great little hike to get the day started. And here we are at one of the beaches along the National Shoreline. And isn't this fantastic? It's so wonderful when a lake is so big, it can almost feel like the ocean. You can't really get that from here because we're in a little bay, I think. Um, and we're pretty much surrounded by the land, as you can see. But it's got a great little very light sand beach uh, for walking on and there were a lot of paddle boarders and things out here so really great to just spend a little bit of time i love putting my feet in the sand i honestly don't know if there's anything better than that okay this is the part i can't wait to share with you this is the boat i was on i actually went on a cruise on a, a sunset cruise with about a hundred other people and it was fantastic so here's the backstory. I was at this national lakeshore and I was thinking it was really good but I was in my mind I was like you know my friend told me you cannot miss this it's really extraordinary and I thought well you know the falls and the beach have been really great and I love this Lake Superior but I don't really think of it as like completely unmissable right and then as I thought about it, I remembered that the same friend had said, you really have to see it from the water. And so I looked at that big map I was showing you earlier in the video and saw that there was um, a marina or a boat area or whatever. So then I did my research online and I found these river, I almost said a river cruise. <laughs> and I found these lake cruises. So this is the one that I went on. It was awesome. There were some other bigger boats and they had cruises leaving every half an hour or an hour. So I was able to get a ticket at the last minute. Some people may be better planners. <laughs> 
so they might want to get them in advance, but I really don't think that there was a bad, um, a bad cruise or a bad view because on the way out, you know, one side of the boat gets the best view of the rocks, and then on the way back, the other side of the boat gets the best views of the rocks, and so either way, it's a win-win. I found that this cruise was the ultimate way to experience this um, particular landmark, this particular national uh, lakeshore. There you see those kayakers. Did you see the little boats? It just kind of gives you a little bit of scale for how big these are. <laughs> They're so big and magnificent and just pure gorgeousness. Look at all those colors. The tour guide, who was also our captain, was telling us about these rich colors and how, um, what are the reds? I forget. I know that the blues and greens are copper and the manganese is black and the calcium is white and I'm not sure what the reds are. I don't remember, but we'll get to other places on the cruise where you can see these colors even more and you'll see really what I mean. And so we're coming here up on the Caves of All Colors, and our guide is telling us so many interesting facts. Lake Superior is the biggest of the, of the five Great Lakes. It is the deepest, it's the coldest as far as temperature, and maybe the coolest, right, as far as just being cool. I mean, this is hard to beat right here. And so here's a fun fact that I think is so cool. So if you took all the water in Lake Superior and you made a swimming pool, that swimming pool, if it were five feet deep, would cover the whole continental United States. That is how deep and vast Lake Superior is. And if that doesn't blow your mind, then I don't know what to say. Okay, <laughs> here's the story behind these selfies. I was trying so hard to get out and take some selfies. By the way, these are not the best selfies, but I wanted to show you this, share this story. There were like three tourists who were out on the back of the boat the entire time filming and they would not get out of the way for anybody else to take a picture. So the first thing I did was I started waiting on them and I waited patiently, you know, and I kind of was looking at them and standing there with my camera. Nobody got the hint. So then at the height of frustration that I was just kind of like, I decided to give it up and I just started to giggle and I went down to the boat actually turned or something so I could actually get a decent selfie with some of this beauty behind me, which was great. And then after that, the nice people next to me volunteered to take a picture of me. So it all worked out just fine. Okay, this next part was really cool. So this is called Chapel Cove. Our captain was so skilled at navigating this boat that I was so literally impressed. We were squeezing into this tiny place so that the rock was all around us. It was such a cool experience. We were going really slow. I tried to take a selfie, but then again, by then everyone was out, out trying to capture this part. Let me, I'll just let you listen to the captain telling us about this next part. Oh, this is Chapel Cove. <laughs> Have any of you folks ever done anything like this? Neither have I. <laughs> Just one of those cheesy moments that the captain is making, your tour guide is making jokes, but it was really fun. And uh, it was a really unique and wonderful experience. I think it was $40. It was some of the best $40 I've ever spent. On this picture, you can really see the teal color of the water really well. You see how the water here at the bottom is so teal colored it was it looks very green here but it was really like this rich bluish green and where it's more shallow of course the water is a little bit lighter in color and when you're really out deep in the in the lake then it gets really deep dark teal which is gorgeous okay this rock formation is awesome let me tell you about this so on the right half of our screen, you see the one tree that is on this rock formation that has detached from the rest of the land. Here, look, you can see the roots of the tree are going from that rock back to the dirt on the other side. <laughs> I just thought this was the coolest thing. Mother Nature is so powerful 
and so wonderful. All right, so now we're turning around and I can get that selfie. That person was nice enough to take of me. So now we're turning around and we're headed back to shore and this is where you feel like you're on the ocean. This is where you can't see any land for as long as you look on certain directions and you get the idea, a vague idea of the vastness and the beauty. And of course it was a sunset cruise, so here's our little picture of our sunset. Thank you so much for joining me with another video. And as we close out, if you really want to, I'm just gonna let you watch this for another minute or so. It's just another part of the cruise that I didn't have anything specific to say about, but I wanted to share it. Um, thanks so much for being here and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Once came canoeing through here, we're quite frightened of it. Itchy Manitou, they called him, or the Great Spirit. Oh, I see the old Indian head. Picture its chin at water level. Then halfway up that large outcropping, picture that as its nose. And its forehead arches back into the trees. And the trees and bushes act as its headdress. Well, Indian head stands around 180 feet high.